Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people who think that chihuahuas are dogs, hello and welcome to my channel, where the coffee is always Irish and pigeons are the freaking enemy. So today we are putting our Altoid kit to the test because much like high school sweethearts, we just don't know what they're capable of unless you take them out into the woods a time or two. Now then, as with any survival situation, your priorities of survival are shelter, fire, sex, water, food, and then signaling, navigation, and first aid fall kind of in between, depending on the quality of said sex. This movie we are focusing on the first priority of survival, which is shelter. Now you just wait what will happen in two movies from now because that will be a good one. As I live in Israel, it is hot AF right now. So my shelter priority is to set up shade and something to sleep on. So we'll be using this Altoid tin and a tarp. Let's see what we can do with it. For my shelter setup, I'm going to need a ridge line, some rocks and some sticks. Let's start. So then, for our ridge line, we'll be using our magic denim rope, which is like, I don't know, it is super strong. And we will wrap it once around the tree and make a quick release knot on here. Now we can tighten it up. And if we'll ever want to release the knot, we just pull it here. Now, to secure the knot, we will put a single stick inside this loop. Tighten everything up and this is a very secure setup. Now to the other side we will not reach. <laughs> it is too short. This is my wife making fun of me. She's like, oh it will not reach, you suck at bushcraft. Look at her, look at her smiling, her smug little face of oh no, oh no, she's she's bringing in the heavy artillery. I must stop filming. This, this is the video of defeat. It reminds me on those special nights where I can't perform. Look at it, just drop flat and useless. Stupid ridge line. Stupid ridge line. Stupid Dynema. Stupid Alto tin. Okay, change of plans. I'm making another shelter. It requires less rope. Yes. Okay, so for this shelter. We're going to need three stakes. We have a stick and a Victorinox. Now, I'll be honest, making stakes with a Victorinox is like pleasuring yourself with a crab claw. I mean, sure, you can do it, and it is awesome when you manage to, you know, to successfully complete your task, but there are far better tools to do it with. One stake, it's going to be. These are stakes two and three. I hate it when a plan doesn't come together. If you understood that joke, you're old. Why, for Chan, did you understand the joke? No, I married young. Good for me. Stake number Take number two. Okay, we have three stakes. Let's make a shelter. I'm Batman! Okay then, so now that we have a tarp, we want to grab 
the middle connection point of one of the edges and just tie it up to our denim rope. God damn it! Yeah, it's not easy. Aha! Again, quick release knot because I don't like messing with knots and a stick. Yay! We have ourselves the beginning of a shelter. Now that this is connected, we are going all the way to the opposite middle connection point here, like this. Put our stake inside and just stake it into the ground great rock and we have Half a shelter. Now we take these forward corners and we stake them into the ground as well. Try to put some tension on them. That's one. Ow! Almost fell. Almost doesn't count. And this is two. Maybe there's a rock underneath here or something. This just doesn't want to go in. We're gonna need a better rock. Yeah, baby. Okay, so now that we have this triangle more or less set up, the last thing to do is these two rear corners. Now, to be honest, when it's so hot, you don't really need to attach them to anything because your main shelter is this triangle here. So I'm going to be lazy and not attach them. But if you are in a windy weather or anything, yeah, connect all the all the corners and you will need five connection points on this type of shelter. Now our next step is to connect with our inner homeless and fill that shelter with this insulation material. Now you can take leaves, you can take pine needles, ripped papers, anything you don't mind your goldfish swimming in. And when I say goldfish I do not mean a goldfish. She works hard for the money. Yeah, she works hard for the money. Okay, so as we can see now, we have shelter, we have bedding, and we have company. Now, time to test it all out. Owies! Ow, ow. Okay, so I'm in. She's in. Time to start fire by friction. Ow! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Fire by friction! It's... I'm not talking to it. <laughs> 